Dear God, I got one question I need to know, do revolutionaries go to heaven? And if so, may their legacies last forever And they seeds grow Tell them that we love them so And never let them die slow It's like we cursed to be born black We was kings and queens, now look where we at I know it won't be long before we take it back I just hope I live long enough to see it happen And that's a fact Cause one thing when you pro-black you might love your people, but they may not love you back For more than 400 years, we've been under attack We survived slavery and then they gave us crack Do revolutionaries go to heaven? 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 I wanna know Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I wanna know Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so But you are promoting evil. You are promoting that which is against the will and the way of God. And you're doing it purposely. Yeah. Every day I gotta praise the Lord. God said that there be light. On this beat I gotta praise the Lord. Come on. Yeah, I ain't gonna like this record. All praise to the universe. Jesus. Up and disappear Cause you're all on some bullshit I don't really feel So fuck your agenda Use a pretender This is my agenda Man, all is well I wanna uh, thank you, man First and foremost It's definitely an honor I appreciate you uh, taking out the time To even, you know, come on my platform And chop it up with me good, brother. It's all good What's happening with you? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Ty Ye Speaks. Uh, we got a very special guest in the house, very innovative, very creative, legendary uh, pioneer in this game that we call hip hop, most definitely on the West Coast. Um, so without further ado, King, please let them know where you're from and definitely let them know where, uh, what your name is. What's up, world? <laughs> Yo, this is called 187, Mansa Musa, you know, from the notorious ass above the law. You know what I mean? Um, coming live to y'all from, from California, you know, from Pomona, California. You know what we do. You know, we wrap that P. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, oh, South Central hey. in the building. Tom is in the building. Watts, 
Long Beach, you know, the whole West Coast is in the building, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, thanks for having me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. I wanted to ask you about that Massa Musa uh, for the <laughs> viewers who may not know. What, what what do that name mean to you? Well, that, that name mean to me the, the name you know the name comes from the great Massa Musa, which that, that the um, name in Islam means um, King Moses. But you know, if you take the two words and you put them together, it means King Warrior. So now it's called wow. eighty seven King Warrior. That's what it means, you know. So. And Master Musa in history was the richest black man who ever lived, for people that don't know that. To this day, he's still the richest. There's nobody that has more wealth than, than King Master Musa. So Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's definitely power in the name. I appreciate you uh, yeah, breaking so, that down so we, for so, us. So we elevate, so we so we elevate that way, but we still keep it gangster always because you know the, the, the temperament of the way music is now and the way people are censored and can't say shit, you know. I want to always keep that persona because when it's time to talk about something heavy and real, I think they want to mute us. I think that's why they want to mute us. I don't think it's because they want, they're careful of, it's because when it's time to talk about something real, you are on mute. You're so afraid to say something about the regular everyday Joe shit. You don't even want to go in and make the record that you really feel in your heart you want to make. So it is a lot of things that come with me adding, you know, to monarchy, Massa Musa to it is because, you know, on one level, Code 187, I'm always be that. I'm always be Big Hutch. I'm always rep represent above the law, the pimp clinic, the black mafia crew, the whole thing, you know. Uh, rest in peace, KMG. I always say that before I speak on anything. Shout out to DJ Chaos, Go Mac with the stack, Layla with the cloud, my brother, my cousin, Cocaine, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so I, I you know, being the voice and being the front guy, the leader, the quarterback of that team, I want to be always able to speak on that level. And if people think that I'm ignorant, I want them to know that, first of all, I'm a king, you know, and the only way you're going to be, and, and if you're a brother, you're a brother. If you're a nigga and you want to be put in that position, I'm going to call you that too, you know, but I'm gonna always hold a high level of, pre of prestige, you know, or whatever I do as a black person, as, as, you know, in general, you know what I mean? I'm always hold the king level, you know what I mean? But I am still a gangster. I'm still a warrior. I'm a businessman and a mogul. Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. And I wanted to uh, speak on something. Um, my big brother, he used to play mm -hmm. above the law. So I really got a chance to get into y'all with that Uncle Sam's curse. So I was going to yeah. say, number one, that's a classic. That's a, a classic on any coast. One of the greatest hip hop albums ever. But it was it was gangster. But it was political. Like y'all really was, you know what I'm saying? Addressing some real, real issues on that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, I, you know, that's always been a cornerstone of what a brother law has tried to do in 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 um in a greater in a greater good. Sometimes when you speak real, you people only listen to what they want to listen to. But we were fortunate enough to do a record called Uncle Sam's Curse that we were able to talk about the gangster shit and politics, and people took both sides just serious, you know what I mean? So for yeah. us, that was like an incredible album for us to do. It's like if you took Public Enemy and NWA, you got above the law, Uncle Sam's Curse. You know, the first record that ever in the history of that was done, you know, and, and I don't think anybody's done it after that. No one, no one focuses on politics and gangster shit, but we happen to because we're not afraid of or ashamed of where we came from the elements and the things that made us become above the law. We're not afraid to say we don't sweep it under the rug. We don't because we truly were that we truly struggled in the streets. We truly was caught up in that life and that culture. But music saved us from it. You know, what I mean, music gave us an escape. It gave us a legitimate career and made us be able to send our kids to college and raise kids. And now we have children and grandchildren that, you know, and, and, and we want to inspire people. We've always wanted to inspire people and motivate People like yourself, like a young brother like yourself is like, hey, man, listen, use your eyes to see. It don't matter if you in the streets. Use your eyes to see. It don't matter if you've been to the pen. Use your eyes to see. You did that. Now do something else. You know what I mean? But always keep that persona because when it's time for you to stand up and say something real, you got to be that gangster sometimes. You can't be yeah, that, oh, I'm this new motherfucker. I'm this new nigga. No, you got to be that old nigga in order to get your true point across, brother. You know what I mean? Because some people don't listen to it all that intellect and shit, sometimes they need to get socked in the face with something. You know what I mean? If, if it means to make shit right, homie, there's never nothing wrong. It's just when you're going out maliciously doing those things, you have to, the world is, you know, it's funny. 
People look at technology and they say, oh, the world is here, the world is there. Yeah, tech, tech now, but the world's still in ruins. People still getting beat by cops. The gas is still high. Groceries are still high. People are still struggling. The cats who are making it are making it. The cats who ain't, ain't. You know what I mean? They still got to do nickel, dime crimes, whatever they got to do to get ahead. So that's still the reality of life. Just because your phone is smaller and your TV is a computer now, it don't mean life has changed. The sun still come up the same way and it still sets like it sets and the moon still rises. So it's not too much different about the world. You know what I mean? Hey, you see a bad bra, your dick get hard. You, you did it, this happened. Yeah, you need money for this. It's the same shit. You, I don't care if you're 21 or 51. It's the same politics. All the, the, the government is the same. The government's still pressing poor people. Uh, they're still looking out. They're still looking out for them politicians in the mix. Um, the rich people in between, they still trying to figure out, oh, how can I sell out? How do I not sell out? How do I keep my little bullshit prestige? It's the same shit that we was going through in our era. It's just now more cats are dumbed down, you know. So, no, we always wanted to keep that persona for you, for, for all our listeners, for all our listeners and viewers. We always, we always want to keep that persona, man. You know, that's what I'm here. That's what the new album's about. That's what the new single that's out that be out tomorrow, you know, um, on the 15th. You know, my agenda will be out. It's a controversial record, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited about being canceled, you know what I mean? Because I've always been canceled. All canceled is being banned. That made me go number one. So, <laughs> right, most <laughs> definitely, man. That that album is is very relevant today. So I'm glad you touched Absolutely. on that. 